Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Ghost in the Magazine. I'm Steph. And I'm Elle. And this week's movie is Hard Rock Nightmare that you can watch on Shudder. I think that's the only place? Yeah, it's very difficult to get, I guess, because Jay was trying to get it and could not in Ireland, so... Mm, Pity. Yeah, pity, yeah. I mean, he's missing out on a lot. It's so good. It's this like is a favorite. fantastic movie. <laughs> totally. It's the best movie I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's it's a piece of shit. It's like an absolute fucking piece of shit. And it's on top of everything. What like my grandparents, like, like Silent Generation grandparents would think a rock band is and operates as that that's what this is <laughs> so it's like didn't we do a movie like this black roses mm-hmm. but that this was... is like the scuffed version of black roses and black roses was a trauma pick so yeah this is worse than black roses in my opinion no definitely so. i i would watch black black roses over over the you know you got to get that that haughty damien you know i can't do this the writer of this movie the writer and producer is a sex pest who apparently is the one who uh r-worded cory haim cory haim uh yeah not my precious so one like... half of the corys <laughs> yeah apparently that's what he's accused of he's passed so like he never got to like stand trial or like even like respond to the accusation because my understanding is it came out after he passed in 2016 but based on the way that the women are treated in this uh film which is like more than just casual misogyny uh i i could see it like is that being as being written by somebody who hates women yes i would have to agree and then also like i just feel like they don't really know how people are like or how they talk at all which <laughs> it was bad like oh is it okay all right okay all right let's <laughs> the acting was really stiff so it didn't help like the, but to be fair like these guys did not have good lines um tina so did tina got what was coming to her according to like the pieces of shit that would watch this like i tina should have been uh, the final girl in my opinion like oh, i would have yeah. made tina the final girl and that would have saved the movie i should have like, because um, you don't kill a girl who voices a very accurate opinion you know what I mean? Well, yeah. apparently they do, but you just shouldn't do that. We need girls like Tina. We do. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, you got to tell him if his dick's small and he's not any good in bed. Period. Oh my god, I'm ripping <laughs> these out in, in my support of Tina. <laughs> you remember when she was like on the bus eating a Cheeto, and she was like suggestively putting that Cheeto in her mouth. I'm like, that's foreshadowing there. That's the highest form of art we're going to get with this movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this tiny fucking dick. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't feel bad for him. I, I can't remember anybody else's name in this movie, but I remember Tina. I, Tina, then like Charlie, because I kept saying his name. The other thing about it is, is the, the, the nerd, this nerdy bitch right here with the weird uh 90s t-shirt on even though it's like horrible red pants and this, yeah <laughs> horrible horrible red pants um he uh his name is jim and at the end they're like he's dead and famous star trek line he's dead jim you know that, that I, they didn't say the gem i was like you know what you were so close bitch it's been a while since uh, we've mentioned Star Trek on this podcast, and that was like your I used to have, movie. yeah. I used to have a Star Trek reference for every movie. I don't know. It's... I just like I dropped it for a while, but here we go. We're back to the Star Trek references, and I also appreciate that this tall bassist here. Uh, I was calling him the Sasquatch or the Sam Squanch from the beginning, and then I find out when he dies, his name's Sammy, which I was like perfect naming 
perfect. What is it with <laughs> tall Sam's? You know, tall Sam. Well, what Sam's Squanch? Okay, it checks out. It checks out. All right. So, like, <laughs> I remember like three things from this movie. Okay. The beginning. <laughs> Because wow, how 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 damaged does a child have to be to hear a scary story from their grandpa and go, "Yep, that's legit." Let me take matters into my own hands. I wish that the rest of the movie had the spirit of that because it was so fucking corny. Like the the crazy grandpa laugh. <laughs> it's just like... I mean, didn't it though? Because it. <laughs> This boy, through the whole movie, this, well, he turned into an adult, uh, as we do, but the uh, whole movie, arguably. this guy, is, like, crazy pants, you know? Like, my, my grandpa this, werewolf that, the whole time, and it's absurd, and it's loud, and, like, oh, but bless him, his girlfriend is it's very just... supportive. <laughs> oh, God. His girlfriend is, like, a like the the purity girl um although she does bang him so that happens but like she's like the nice one you know the girl that the girl that we knew was gonna make it through to the end because she was like you know the caring Mm. nice girl i guess but scary movie rules like she boned she could die anyone who bones yeah except for except for when you're a scary movie written by a man who hates women Except for like the submissive woman who covers herself up and doesn't dress like the hose in the back here. Not the hose in the back. Um, yeah. That's that's kind of the I, I felt like there was like a hard line, like moral line that this the writer was trying to push and I didn't like it. Well yeah. let's tuck grandpa away. It was a cheesy, like it was good. Like I the grandpa stuff I think is pretty funny. Um I agree. But if you're playing in your dad's garage, you're pl- your band playing in your dad's garage, <laughs> I don't think you get to insist that somebody's a groupie for showing up there. That no. you're in a garage band in your fucking father's garage. You are not at the level of groupies and like fucking bus shenanigans, bitch. You are a Ugh, I don't know. I just thought I was so irritated with how hot they thought they were. Because <laughs> they are... We have, like, okay, we have two types of guys here. Well, really three because we have the nerd. The nerd gives us some variance here. Um, yeah, who is I that guy? Got, what does uh, he do? His, uh, I don't remember. He has a nerd name. Paul, the nerdy name. Okay. Um, he's <laughs> the only one that was actually, like, different. These two guys are the same guy. They're fucking, they yes. think that they're Fonzie and they're stupid bitches, okay? And then they, we have the the blonde bitches that they're all like balding, but they have a mullet. So it's like a skullet that's about to happen. All three of them. Um, <laughs> they're just different heights. That's all. They're all gross. They all have like, you know, they're like blonde, but then they're like very red in the face. So it's kind of like, I don't know, just unattractive. We'll, we'll put it that way. Like, I just, total hotties and I, I guess I'm I'm just like being a bitch about it but like I was just so grossed out by the fucking like attitudes of everyone I was like you think yeah. you're hot no no yeah um, agreed and then that kind of like just that attitude just like kept up when they decided that they were gonna like go out and play in the woods because like oh uh, Oh, we're too loud here. The cops broke them up. Oh my yeah. god, it's okay. It's ridiculous. Um, they're the bad boys. That's the band name. Like, of all the names, that's what you guys, <laughs> all names. all of you, round robin, like you, you, you collectively decided that the bad boys is it. That's gonna take you somewhere because they are obviously from their faces. They want to be professional. Like, this is their life, right? And I also appreciate it. how great the lyrics were in that initial <laughs> <still> song. No. <laughs> no. And I also appreciate how that first song sounded nothing like the second song that we had to listen to the whole fucking thing once they got to the stupid house. <laughs> like, they're like, let's just, like, burn 
three to five minutes of this runtime with this fucking music video of these nerd ass kids in this like 70s crawled up in here and died room no no unnecessary and actually kind of rude and hurtful how long was this movie uh i i think it was 80 around 80 minutes um i think it was about an hour and a half that's okay yeah no cut some of that shit out make it one of those shitty hour-long runtime movies and it'll be better you know yeah make us suffer a little bit mildly more. um i there was a there's a thing well they're on the bus or the the motor home <laughs> and the nerd guys like or, or no the nerd guys like sit, talking about all these different gimmicks they could use to like get attention and the one guy's like well what about why don't we just try playing good music and i'm sitting here like try harder try there's an harder idea. I mean, there's an idea. I I mean, it sounds pretty innovative to me. Maybe maybe consider that. You know what I mean? I will say that I do appreciate if they're not going to Antarctica that they're at least getting eaten by a wolf man. And well, yeah, but not a real arguably. wolf man. You know what I mean? Yeah, they can afford yeah. a real wolf man. They could not. Um, the other thing is is that. We're, we're we're guessing that these guys are all supposed to be like eighteen to twenty year olds, right? They're not of drinking age, really. Um, okay, but that motherfucker on the end looks old as hell. That's what I'm saying. They look like they range in age from like twelve to forty five. I'm just saying, like <laughs> twelve to forty five. This girl old. right here, twelve year old, twelve year old right here. That guy, that basis, forty five at least. Uh. You know what I'm God, saying? That like, hairline says, you know, like respectfully, because he's got a lot of hair, but his hair line says, I don't belong here. <laughs> these are not hairline kings here. These are, you know. Correct. Correct. It's hair. running away from them. It's a it's okay, you know. You know, right. Live your, your truth. It's you can't help what your body does. Like yeah. but, you know, but you know, like you could just cast accordingly. But, that was mean. Don't call people groupies. Don't call people groupies if you don't want me to. Um, <laughs> Judge your hairline. And I know the actors didn't make that choice, but they did. They kind of did because I, if somebody gave me this script, I would burn it. <laughs> I don't care how <laughs> desperate I am. I don't know if that's true because yeah. you don't want to act. You know what I mean? You don't want to act. That's true. You don't want to be on camera. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want that. But, you know, we don't know what their options were. I don't know. I don't think I've seen any of these people anywhere else. Nerd went on to be like a movie producer and like, like production guy. And yeah. nobody else really even has pictures in their IMDb. Okay, profile, then. You see so. what I'm saying? They needed this hard rock nightmare money. Give them each 20 bucks, call it a day. I That's mean. I don't know what they got paid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, on the on the bus, the the group the groupie asked the drummer how big his drumstick was, which made me laugh. Um this makes me tired you know like I think no nope I can't put myself because like you know my sister when we were growing up my sister and I we went to a lot of battle of the bands you know like we knew a bunch of kids in bands and I was just telling you the other day about how you know because I was in the newspaper that I sat in with my friend who was doing a story on this boy we went to school with and his older hot brother uh can't confirm if he's still hot I don't know I don't live there um but they had built a recording studio and their mom's in the basement of their mom's flower shop downtown it was like the coolest thing ever and I remember sitting in there but like not one time not even it wasn't my story you know I was just chilling like soaking up the atmosphere not one time would I be like hey Liz so like how big is your drumstick that's stupid and Tina's like a grown woman isn't she I don't know. The drummer never gets slayed either, let's be honest. No. I don't know. I I you just brought war flashbacks because 
you know, before I moved here, my sneaky link was a drummer. <laughs> he was very passionate yeah. about don't judge me, okay? We, we don't judge. We we don't judge here. Come out a little <laughs> hot against these children here. Yeah, you know young, these these shining young men with all of their no no tight jeans. I mean, teen. Honestly, all right. Let's be real. Um, Crazy Boy and Tina are the only ones with an actual person, like a person. Their personality. His is a personality defect, and hers ends up being hilarious. <laughs> But they're the only two people that like it's everyone else is like background people doing background shit. Even the couple that smokes weed and tries to feed a a quote unquote dog a candy bar. Like you know dogs can't have chocolate, you idiot kids. Idiot kids. <laughs> Speaking of Tina, this bitch Charlie here, he Charlie this you. like, you know, she's after him apparently, which hard. Like not why? passively aggressively but why and then but he He's they figure this out on the bus of course ew um she was, I and, mean, and like the she nerd was, guy she was throwing it like she was slinging it at charlie i i know i know but this 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 bitch is like i'm gonna make her beg for it and this nerd man reacts with wow that's so hip I don't remember hearing it. My brain must have heard it and immediately said, delete, delete, delete. The dialogue is so brilliant. I have to say, like, it, they could remake this with, like, celebrities, though. Put Ryan Gosling in as the nerd. Don't do that to Ryan Gosling. I, I He's an alright guy. Don't do that. Don't I remake this movie. Just, like, Steam, steam the glasses up though for real like just like actually steam the glasses up when he gets i'm already tired of this movie dude special effects i i, I am full of great ideas how to fix this movie step one burn the script in the trash oh <laughs> no let's make a new movie like you know what i mean like no one needs to see this if you're gonna watch this movie literally there's only one scene that you need to see and that's well you know the scene between charlie and tina it's my favorite scene it's the only scene i like in this movie at all okay because she's like Oh, she's laying it on so fucking thick. I just want to help you. I was writing a story about you on this random fucking typewriter because my cousin, she used to stories on famous people and, and you, I want to write about you. She was just trying to get the dick. Like, just be honest, girl. But, you know, this man, his ego, she, she had to, like, butter him, butter him down. You know what I mean? And he's like, all right, all right. All right, I'll, I'll I'll give it to you. Be fucking rude not to. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then when it's over, he's like, "Yeah, that Sir was slimy. great." <laughs> that was it. Like that was it. Could you need your little baby dick get the fuck out of here? <laughs> and forget about my cousin and then... the story on you, bitch. <sighs> yeah. Which is also like what a way to write this, this character, you know? Yeah, I love the spin. I love the spin. Integrity that she has, um, which is like irritating, you know. Um <laughs> I and then like she's like, I'm not gonna let no wolf or no man get me and she goes and sits in a well. Yeah, but like all right, and then let's she not gets forget put it on fire. Yeah, that sucks. But let's also not forget that she gave another man before she got in bed with Charlie a really sad hand job in the woods right before he got killed. Yeah, Rip. that's true. So that was a little bit that scene with Icky. everything that I've been yeah, everything I've been, you know, reading and interacting with lately felt really gross because it was exactly what women keep saying men do. Mm -hmm. which is i said no they push a different way mm -hmm. and it's it's like entirely a power trip just go jack yourself off and shut the fuck up maybe the wolf wouldn't have ate you if you would have just gone and jacked yourself off somewhere just like 
right Get, take Get a shower a apple light pot. a candle like i just i don't understand it why are why are people like this <laughs> i don't know but if you have an opinion on it we don't want to hear it we just re- yeah. really don't want to hear it you know like it's icky it's just icky like if a girl does not want to do things to you stop asking find a girl who will you know like yeah. don't cry about it you're you're a big, big rock star with groupies why why are you worried that this one girl is like not gonna jack you off you have hands they work right assumedly Lately. he's the drummer he's he's always flipping that that drumstick he's got to be good enough with his hands to be able to like you know choke his chicken for christ's sake oh my god <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. Okay. So literally what's <laughs> happening in this movie is boy is going crazy. His friends are like, I agree with his friends because they're like, you know, if he's been going, like he's been seeing a psychiatrist for this crazy shit, maybe we shouldn't be alone out here in the woods where it happened. I don't know. Just a suggestion. After this guy, the drummer is gets this coercive half hand job from this woman before he calls her the wrong name and she's like fuck this i'm out um he says uh i just well all i wanted was a little head and then he turns around and the werewolf knocks his head off i did like that yeah i'm like here you go as you wish brilliant writing you know yeah i just think it's so stupid <laughs> most of this way I just think it's so stupid how you're supposed to believe that there's a werewolf this whole time but it literally is a wolf man it's literally a dude in a fucking suit literally the other thing is is that this wolf man has like extra like he grabs a bat he takes a bat and like holds it in his hand like, that's not something a human's gonna do. Like, th- he shows time and again that he has, like, extra wolfy powers. But then it's right. just a guy. It's like Scooby-Doo. And this, and this wolf suit wasn't built by Tony Stark. It's just no. a suit of material. And they find pieces of it on the ground. And they're like, oh, my God. It's a costume. It's, like, made in Hong Kong. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't matter where it's made from. It's a suit. The best thing about like, and I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, but when yeah, they pull the face off of the wolf, um, you can see that there's like a plastic inlay like on top of it, and they're like, "Oh, that's contacts. That's not contacts, bitch. That's not on his eye. Come on, oh. you just showed us it's a plastic thing, bitch." I'm so, I'm so annoyed. And and <laughs> why would would anyone do this for money? Of course. The big reveal is so ridiculous, my guy. Like, the acting is so bad, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I had a great time the first time I watched this forever ago. We were gonna do this for 31 Days of Horror, but Jake, I was drunk. I was probably, you know, but I had a great time. The second Mm -hmm. time around, though, I was like, this is not a movie anyone should watch more than one time. No. Uh, I the other thing I want to talk about is how science breaks down in the end. Oh my god! Yeah, all right, hit me. Uh, that's not how you make bullets. And if you were to <laughs> pour, if you ha- if you were to have a lead crucible around your house in order to For like you know, pour silver, you know, <laughs> uh, and you had silver that was like the right um alloy that you could do that easily without like messing stuff up or like you know burning impurities or blowing yourself up Mm. because i used to work for a foundry and actually uh all of that that is rather complex and has a lot of you know processes to it you know but i believe uh, that that you pour a bullet a bullet is like a case on the outside it's not a solid thing really i mean there's a solid tip and then there's like a case and there's like like ball bearings inside of it yeah it's got stuff in it um it, it, and on top of that, he just like he pours it, takes puts the crucible down, takes his gloves off, puts his hand straight into it. Like that's just, you know, that's that's just uh, cooled off immediately. As soon as it hits this uh, this mold, it's cool and you can touch it. 
Um, and then, so there's that. And then right after that, we have the well scene where like you pour, first of all, a well is not that shallow. Like somebody couldn't just like climb down and like squat no. in an actual working well like that, no. that they're just like within it's just like a water table or whatever. Right. I'm not yeah, good. At you science, have to, it's but... deep. And I don't think that it's going to fit an adult human all the way down to the bottom. I wouldn't think it might but that well is going to be more open i would think to other things falling in if it was that big but um Mm -hmm. then they pour gasoline down in something that is largely water and i mean you can get gasoline to catch on fire on water because it sits you know but like how much and then you you just light a match and then like it's like um (laughs) i think they would have been better off like with that special effect, I was rolling. I have to say, it it reminded me of the Velocipaster. It was like that level of special effect. Yeah, but I love Velocipaster. I I, I don't this know. This is not that caliber, though. <laughs> no, no, Velocipaster is hilarious. You know, it's because they don't have a Frankie Mermaid. If they had a Frankie Mermaid character to like cut the tension or like in the stupid shit, this movie would be better. Everyone needs a Frankie it's Mermaid. A, it's also because this movie is a hundred percent taking itself seriously. Like we know it's oh, fucking yeah. dumb, but <laughs> it is taking itself seriously. The Velocipaster uh, leans in and out of the joke. Like yes. you, you think that it's taking itself seriously for a minute, but then it's like, oh no, no, it's not. It's, just kidding. It's totally just fucking with you. Yeah, they know who this they are. Movie this movie kept its gate i mean yeah i think i think that they were aware that it was a garbage movie but uh good i don't there was not the humor at least wasn't at the level where you it seemed self-aware we'll put it that way no no and tina didn't deserve to go out like that let her live no let her let her live she should have been the final guy the final girl Um, yeah they had a gang of people like they killed off enough people they could have let three people or four people live you know what i mean or right. sat and switch and we could have sacrificed charlie like, get rid of charlie get tina i don't care about this girl either i don't no. care i don't care about any of them but i guess jem had to live because it was his uncle but other than that like i i would be okay with jem going too i i'm not attached to any of these characters i'm not even that attached to tina but no like, if it's we're just... gonna pick she's a better final girl than any of the rest of them for sure angry because mm-hmm. she gave baby dick here the business you know like, like oh yeah important. it's very important like you have to humble men <laughs> oops especially just like that scene where he like rolls off of her like that was amazing she's laughing no. I'm, just... I'm just saying I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking but you know I'm just saying <laughs> humble them I literally have nothing else to do about this movie. I don't. This had the makings of something that could have been good. It just decided oh, yeah. not to be. And I, I mean, it, it had a lot against it. Um, the acting was really stiff. The script was awful and not written in it. Like, again, leaning into the humor, which it could have done. The soundtrack. Terrible absolutely <laughs> fucking terrible like who and wrote bad the channels and <laughs> yeah it was worse than bad channels i at like least, bad channels like, <laughs> yes at least bad channels got like actual musicians to write funny fucking songs like that clown song that was funny yes this, like i don't know what kind of trite bullshit it's like they just like opened a book of tropes and like picked random ones and made that the lines in the song Mm -hmm. um i did make my own spotify playlist so uh it's true i I decided to re-soundtrack this because it reminded me of too many different like thrash songs but i couldn't stick (laughs) to the 80s i had to i have stuff from all the way into the 2000s in there but you know put that in the show notes so heck yeah in case you're wondering I mean how we yeah. could have been better. Yes. Um how many ch- sorry Matt, how many chuds would you give this one? God. Uh-uh. 
I don't like it. I don't like the Chud scale because then I think about comparing it to Chud, and I don't want to. Let's just say like oh okay how, um like how many uh if we're gonna use Chud what was in there like how many guys that eat a quarter would you give not this? how many quarter eating bitches would you give this <laughs> there we go I would give uh, I would give one it half one quarter eating bitch one half. One half. One half. And that half is for Tina. Rip. Uh, I'll give it one quarter eating bitch, and that's just because I could see the potential in this movie. They just didn't go with the potential. They went with <laughs> everything else. They went with everything else. They made other decisions. You are very kind. I'm literally putting us out of our misery in <laughs> this episode. Um, but you know, if you had a good time here and you want to listen to more episodes, you can find this podcast on the interwebs at ghostinthemagazine.site or on Twitter at GITM Podcast. You can find me on Twitter at Witch Exploding. And you can find me at Nocturnical. Okay.